What's happening, people? Nice one for coming back to the Fuse UK. It's much appreciated as always. Today we've got a special guest, UFC vet, Bellator vet. Jerry's going to tell us about what's happening, brother. Man, what's up, dude? I appreciate you having me on, man. It's it's uh, this is awesome, dude. I, I really um. I'm really, uh, uh, really excited about this uh, with you being over that way, man. I, I know there's, uh, I, I hope I have, I'm sure I got some fans over that way, and I think that's pretty badass, man. I, I, uh, um, I, I like what y'all do over there for sure. Yeah, I can say you've definitely got fans over here, mate. Thanks, man. I, I'm, 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 I really, I'm, I'm been actually, uh, I, man, I, I got to get a trip, man. I'm trying to plan something over there to come come over there i'm sure you i'm sure you get into that but yeah um i'm i'm actually me and tyranny I, i've we've, we've been chit-chatting since the fight about every week man and I, I really like to come over there and mix some stuff up we've kind of talked about that but um yeah man I'm, I'm real excited to to talk with somebody over over that way dude so <laughs> what you got for me man let's chop this up great stuff man how i normally do it mate is um i normally ask the fighting career started when did it all begin yeah man uh pretty simple uh you know i didn't i really i'll say this and i'm, I'm if anybody did the research i never really looked into the fighting as something that i would actually be doing so so long and, and as a career um man it, it started out with just me and a friend he, it was actually he was gonna go uh go into it and um uh, and i just just happened to uh say man look i i got you yeah i got you back i'll i'll help you out some too so uh, it started out like that we both took amateur fights um uh, one and everything it was it was great and um uh, you know i kind of stepped back and and kind of was like yeah that was pretty cool and then uh it really kind of i say that's why i love the fan base and the community and all that it kind of just hey man when's the next one everybody kept when's the next one do we ready so that's kind of how the journey started, and and then from there it just snowballed, you know, and um, um, even till now, you know, it, it's just been a long journey, man. It really has, uh, but a good one. Yeah, because I can see you was it right. You were in the WWE as well. Yeah, man. You know, so I had an opportunity to to mix it up with them, uh, which was a pretty great opportunity. Um, you know, at their at the on the Tough Enough series that I was on, you know, uh, just so happened, I believe they um, had some connections, you know, it popped up in my lap. Uh, they kind of wanted to have somebody with some mixed martial arts background in, and, you know, my name was in there, and, uh, you know, I made the cut, um, and that was a hell of an experience, man. It really was. Um, I was really, really, I met some really cool, cool people on that circuit, and, you um, you know that was a that was a hell of a deal, and them guys are really that's a really physical deal. You know, a lot of people ask me about that. You know, it's like, no, nah, ain't nothing fake about that. about that. You know, them dudes take a beating. I mean, I remember the whole time that I was there. Repetitious, man. You know, I mean, you, them. I mean, your body. You know, them cables and 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 learning how to take a bump or taking a bad bump, man. You know, it's 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 some. Uh, it's a very physical, physical, physical sport. Yeah, I can imagine they shot each other all over, don't and you can tell that it's not obviously. A lot of people think it's fake, but it's real men doing mad things. Yeah, and, and I mean, and you know, a lot of the moves, there's, I mean, it's real moves and stuff like that. And so, don't I mean, don't think you can't get in a bind. You know, them guys take a take a beating, real talk. Yeah, I took I took a beating with them. So, it 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 is it is a real real physical physical uh, deal. So, so what happened then from the WWE series to the um, the Ultimate Fighter series? What happened in between then? Oh uh, well, you know, um, so you know, after the Ultimate Fighter, you know, I, I got in, you know, still mixed martial arts career. You know, that's when I went went up to uh, Illinois, to St. Louis, and got up with Matt Hughes and them. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I ran, I, I ran with them them guys, and, and you know, still trickled in. You know, that was kind of the the height of my career then and, and then moving into that reality shows and stuff like that that just kind of fell at my feet uh but uh ever since after wwe you know i, I just kind of ventured into you know i was still doing physical things and staying up to par so um i kind of just really took a break because i when i right after um bellator you know and and, and all that um i just it was just kind of like a, a 
a break. You know, I kind of stepped back and was just kind of reevaluating some things. You know, with 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 team. You know, with the school selling and people. You know, kind of breaking out. You know, I kind of had to branch out from that too. You know, and find other partners and met met people and stuff like that. So uh, then, you know, in 2015, I started professionally bull riding, and um, that's kind of led all the way up to bare knuckle. Um, but leading into even that, uh, going kind of fast forward your pace to how it all laid out back into it was about 2018 kind of when bare knuckle was really kind of kicking off um i had gotten asked to go to london uh back in like it was actually like january of 18 or something like that uh but i don't i really wasn't into the whole deal or who it was for negotiation wise but that's kind of when huh yeah 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 i was i got asked about about to, in about 2000 early 2018 and Inish to, right. to come over to, to London and do some bare knuckle. Now, I was out of the negotiations, so I, I really don't know who it was with and stuff like that. It just didn't work out. But ever since then was kind of when the fire got lit, yeah. and it just it was it was trickled, uh, and then uh, you know, of course, up until this this last year, and um, man, it just it was just kind of like, bam! It just that's kind of where I felt like this right time and you know of my man this this was this is what i was built for this was my journey of what i've done in my life you know all the training all the different stuff i really believe that has just set me up to to ultimately be what i've seeked out to be if, if that makes sense to you yeah i understand what you mean did, would you say do you enjoy the band a lot more than the other combat sports that you've competed in man look that ain't even no question man hands down now not now now and i'm not saying i mean as far as me you know like how i just say how i feel like i'm built how i've trained and my style what i've um, actually have um, incorporated into my style to make me better uh i think that it just goes into bare knuckle just plays so at a high level and i know that there's so much still to learn uh but as far as where my training has took me and i believe that i understand the the sport and and there is a skill set um i believe I'm, i can i mean hey man i'm be the best in the world you know hands down um, when you're uh, in mma and bare knuckle did you have different nerves was it, or was it just the same feeling for you no, no, it, no, bare knuckle hits different, man. I've been telling people like straight up, like, I mean, uh, I've had my share of fist fights, you know, real, uh, but even then, uh, going into the mental side of going, Hey, I, I kind of know really what to expect. Oh, it, it's weird to me because like it does hit different very, very much because it's the bone, you know, and it, it is very much, uh, it don't take that much, but as far as hitting, I say physically, you can really tee off a lot harder in in, in mixed martial arts because, of course, because of the hands. Uh, but that, oh, yeah, huge. I think, I, to me, it's night and day different for sure. Uh, but uh, as far as me physically being able to take it, um, I really didn't feel like there was no – a uh, big difference even in this layout that I, that I did and going from mixed martial arts to bare knuckle you know um i believe it was still it sometimes just just feels like a little a bump you know I'm, i've i don't know sometimes i've just been blessed <laughs> yeah so would you consider yourself a bit of an adrenaline junkie jeremiah Man, the ball I, and... I, no actually i don't uh, a lot of my friends, a lot of people, they say, man, you're just, it's that adrenaline, you know, you got to, um, you after it. So, and I said, you know, honestly, I never really went into anything for the rush. I, I can't ever recall myself even wanting, it wasn't even about bull riding with, hey, I just want to try it. Um, it's always been more or less about the competition and the skill set. Um, I remember back when I was very little, um, for what I can remember, I uh, always said, you know, man, I wanted to be a professional athlete, but I wanted to, I didn't know which, say, not kind of professional athlete. I mean, I played football, baseball, stuff like that. Uh, but I just, I wanted, I just wanted, Wanted to be the best at everything I could do, uh, especially when it comes time to being athletic. Um, 
and being being ver so versatile, and I, I would say so uh, apply. Hey, let me just come out. He's still there? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you, man. Can you hear me? I do not know what happened there. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, man? Can you hear me? There we go. Hey. <laughs> but well, but picking off where I left off, um, as far as the, the pro athlete is involved, uh, man, I never really got – I mean, yeah, it's an adrenaline rush, but I ne I never seek that in the bare knuckle or the bull riding or the MMA fighting. It was more competitive to me, and yeah. um, and, and and it all, you know, like, hey, you know, I can conquer the beast. Let, let's, I'm I'm in, you know, I'm game, you know, uh, and with that, that was where I always like to say, man, you know yeah i can do it all and i've done it all uh and just been been very blessed to be able to do it you know yeah at a course. high level for sure of course and I, I suppose it seems a bit more crazier towards people over in the uk because bull riding and that, we only see it on the telly do you know what i mean yeah 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 people think it's crazy when they know they they know i you know they're like whoa holy shit you know i'm like yeah but you know taking that in you know from there to now in the training that i've done for bull riding especially in the mental game hands hands down has ver has very much trained me for bare knuckle i mean the, the whole physical as the aspect of of you know getting knocked you get your dick slammed in the dirt and getting back up i mean you really gotta want it to get on one of these son of a bitches right here yeah. as you can see you know <laughs> you really gotta want that shit uh and it's not easy i mean you talk about a mental man i mean you talking about being broken down broken down because it was it was almost like you was never winning and and when you you know if you've ever felt that pressure um and a lot of people understand that you know man when it when you're just getting beat down and beat down you know it's just the wheel you got to have that wheel that intestinal fortitude to just keep on going and that's just something i've always believed in you know is just saying you know hey you know uh you get knocked down you get back up and if it's a hundred times get 101 you know how i don't matter um just a lot of heart and a lot of try uh you know it's just some unteachable things that's just kind of built inside of me that i think has i've always carried on in life and and in my career yeah i love that bro does um have you ever suffered any bad injuries from the bull riding yeah um i mean so i've i've uh i've had some stuff in my elbow yeah, i've dislocated it a little bit uh i've got a, a tour pick from it um, I had my knee scoped about a year ago, and that was in practice. I got drugged uh, by one of my bulls across the arena and uh, and everything. It was pretty – it wasn't just fun, but at the end, we had a pretty big laugh. He pulled me into a pen and turned around, and I was sitting down on the ground, and uh, he was like, okay, fresh meat right here. And he, he come <laughs> at me and beat, beat kind of beat my ass a little bit. Uh, but I got out of there and uh, – was just kind of like oh okay holy shit yeah and i only I had two friends there they, uh, they freaked out but it was it was uh you know just i've had some wrecks now um i mean i've been kicked in the chest i mean i've 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 been dumped on my head i mean bull riding some serious shit so uh with that said uh going into bare knuckle sometimes i think i'm like mm, this ain't just so bad <laughs> <laughs> especially when the mental side is you know hey man you know uh and when you put when i really put it in respect perspective is like man that son of a bitch is two thousand pounds a, a human being at my 175 pounds you know there ain't there there's nobody that that 
that that that I, that I fear. I fear no man. So what? They bleed just like the, me. With the bull riding, is it just like any big bull, or is it a bull that has to be like? hyped up like a ridge and pull before you jump on it no man it's pretty simple it's kind of like anything i mean either they do it or they don't uh and there's there's levels uh you know there's practice bulls and there's mid-level bulls and then they you know so on and so on uh then there's you know like pbr you know the uh nfr stuff your uh, world class i mean it's a ranking system uh these dudes now are athletes uh you know i mean hey man they, they get fed a, a, a certain diet they get fed protein you know they get exercised and stuff like that but uh it's kind of weird in a way either sometimes they want it or they don't um it's what yeah. lives inside of, of them as well um but it's been a it's been it's it's a hell of a it's a hell of a journey for sure to, to learn uh, just that in life, and especially be as close as you can be to one of to one of these uh, beasts. You know, they're they're. It's really cool to share share that with, with uh, in, in the interaction of the world. You know. Yeah, yeah. So I'm presuming you've seen the BKFCs coming to London. Is that something that obviously you want to get on board? Man, I, I so much. You know. Um, uh, that would be super, super awesome. Even if it, if it, even if it wasn't this go round, I know there's no hands down about it. They're going to be back. Um, I'm probably, honestly, going to probably be looking at something in June. Uh, you know, I'm from the state of Mississippi, so I know that they're looking forward to being in Mississippi. So I'm, a, I'm actually in camp at, at right now. You know, um, I'm in a two a days right now, uh, training my ass off. Um, you know, I posted a few videos, you know, working on my feet, my footwork and stuff like that. You know, um, from, from the New York fight with tyranny, man, that hasn't done anything, but just made me a lot better, you know, real talk. Um, I've, I've, I've learned some stuff from that and, uh, and, and being with someone that's that world class, you know, just you, you still it puts you up there. Um, and I was really, I, my expectations was just about everything it was. I mean, I took the fight um, going into that, because uh, I know that's probably a question here. You know, when I took the fight, dude, one of the things that really made me want that fight with him was, uh, you know, I watched some videos on him, whatever, but it was really, uh, he looked like he was a very humbled, respectful uh I ain't going to say I'm a kid, you know, a guy, you know, uh, 27 years old, I have the experience he had. Um, hell yeah, I'm up for the challenge. You know, that and that that was me, you know, and I was like, you know, there ain't nobody going to want this, but I, 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 I'm, I'm up for the challenge. It didn't matter two days, seven days notice, whatever. You know, I, I knew my capabilities. Um, and even then, you know, I, I believe I showcased it. Uh, man, it, I, I, there's no way it didn't. It, I never I didn't take a loss off that. If, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, awesome. That was that was uh, that was great. Um, was I, I think that fight is definitely going to go down uh, in the books this year, uh, and I don't yeah. see how how it shouldn't. You know, and much respect to him. Like I said, uh, man, that that fight right there. You know, I, I give him mad pride. The kid's good, man. But uh, like I said, but we've talked uh, ever since then. We actually talked yesterday. Um, you know about training and i said man you know one of my things that i'm really pushing forward to do is going to try to fly over there and do, uh, get some training in with tyranny and them guys i really want to mix it i think that's what it's about uh, is training with the best in the world whether you competing against each other or not i mean that, that that's just the name of the game you know what i'm saying um and then having somebody like that with us willing to do that that's what it's all about man and and honestly i know them guys over there that's man that's y'all are in the bare knuckle capital you know uh that's where to me i know it's it's, it's big over here but I, I i i just you know when you talk about gypsy bare knuckle when you talk about true bare knuckle hay bale style look i know what goes on and them guys over there are doing it you know i know they say some of them guys have trouble coming up i mean and anybody has troubles and in, in their careers i don't think that's man i know what's up over there in the uk and i'm, I'm really hoping to get over there and compete and, and train and mix up some some uh some good information and 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 use what i know to, to help anybody out you know that's kind of what i want to give back to the sport and give back to the people who respect me and 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 and, and support me you know fan for fan whatever you know um that's yeah. kind of where I'm at with that, and, and, but I'm all in, all in bare knuckle, man, uh, 100%. When I, when, I, when I interviewed David Feldman um, the other week, he said he's potentially doing six shows a year in the UK, two BKFs, two 
Build BKFC linking up or linking up with another UK promotion, the BFBA. So that'll be good, mate. Yeah. Yeah, man, I'm I'm excited about it, and I pro and I really really want to come over there and and show support to the UK fans, show support for for y'all's uh you know uh, legacy of bare knuckle. I mean, to, to fight over there to me would be huge. I think that would be uh, a career high just to to be over there. No matter if it doesn't care if it was on prelims or main card, you know, I I just I would love to mix it up with some guys over there uh, respectfully because I, I I believe that uh, y'all have a lot of respect in the game. Probably that all the Americans show respect to the UK people like who I've interviewed. It's yeah. Good to see. Yeah. Well, I mean, one of my first interactions with anybody over there was Michael Bisping. I was over in Austra Australia um, at, back in UFC 110, UFC 110, and uh, got to hang out with him, met the whole family, and uh, we were cool as hell. That dude, uh, our, that was when I was like, man, I got to get over there and train with some of these guys. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that was really my first experience with somebody over that way uh, that that was just like, wow, man, you know, I, I, I got to get over there and mix it up and uh, to have another opportunity in that to, to uh, just say with tyranny and, and whoever, I think that's that's pretty cool, man. That's it's 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 really gonna be a, a a hell of a deal. Yeah, it'd be great to see you, mate. We'd love to see you over here in the UK, anyways. But as I was gonna say, mate, and um, what's the plans for the Bear Noble in the future? Yeah, uh, so my plans for BKFC, man, you know, I, I, I'm all, I'm looking at, like I say, sometime in June, I'm getting ready uh, for, for whatever. Uh, I really like to get, you know, uh, shit, uh, three more in this year. You know, I want to sign, uh, you know, I'm working on with BKFC to sign a multi-fight deal and uh, to represent the company is in, is in the highest uh, form and fashion I can. I mean, you know, I'm cleaning up things that – in my businesses and like in life in life and stuff like that just to fully commit it i mean straight up you know the next three to five years you know that i have a I have a, a very much goal set plan and um and bksc knows that hey man i want to rep this this is it for me i mean straight up i'll tell you straight coming out of my mouth bkfc that's it you know i don't i'm not looking to do anything else i'm not venturing out uh, i'm not mma kick by none of that box you know i'm, I'm really really want to focus in bkfc and give back something that i've had a whole life span in and fighting and um and 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 just to have that um i, I just i just want to shit i want to make them history books man can, can leave my legacy you know continue my legacy and walk out and give something back truly to the sport yeah and i'm sure you will do that brother is there any um before we wrap it up mate is there any shout outs or sponsors you want to give a shout out to yeah man you know all um I, I don't want to leave no one out so everybody that knows me all my local support you know here here around in my state they know who they are uh, i don't want to leave anybody out um i have a whole list of uh, i really I really want to shout out to everybody that's listening and shout out to you yourself for having me on, uh, over there broadcasting all that. That's, that's what makes us, uh, so as far as just sponsors, Hey man, everybody out there, if you support me, whatever, in any which kind of way, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. A uh, big shout out to you yourself and a big shout out to the UK. Um, you know, uh, another, another thing is I talk really good about him and uh, shout out to tyranny and his, his group, man. I really looking forward to his fight, uh, coming up in July, uh, whether I can be there or not, um, big shout out to them. I wish him luck. Um, like I said, a lot of respect and uh, take it and give in both ways. Um, uh, yeah. so with that, um, any of them guys, man, you know, I'm looking to come over there, get on a plane and, uh, and try to get over there and showcase some skills and fights I mean, y'all, man, look, y'all got, y'all got some of the best guys in the world, man. And, and that's uh, something that it, it, coming over there and mixing it up would be like going to the glad uh, the Coliseum and fighting gladiator, you know, right there in the middle of it to me, you know, that's just kind of like home base. Yeah class so a big shout out to you guys and, and just anybody that supports it um in any kind of way man you know thank you very much yeah i really appreciate you my uh, it's massively appreciated and we'll stay 
match and hopefully catch up again on another interview closer to some news. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, man. We'll definitely keep in touch. You got my contact anytime, man. Anything I can do to give back to you or anybody else, just let me know. I'm all in, man. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, brother. Speak soon, Jeremiah. Thanks, brother. Holla.